Let's go to Zaleki. Welcome to the second episode of my Nagaland series in which I take you to the beautiful villages of Zuleki and Kanoma. Kya tumne pani mein kabhi dance kiya hai? Bye. On our way to Zuleki, we found this beautiful spot with elder trees and it's super beautiful. It's something I've never seen before. There are like three huts here cultivating their own crops. And this is the beautiful lady peeling some potatoes maybe for her lunch. Larissa, okay. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. What's up guys? We are finally at the homestay at Zuleki. This is where we're staying and isn't it gorgeous? Is this place even real because it out of this world altogether so i'm going to show you what this homestay looks like it's super cozy we've gotten inside already let's go this is the kitchen where they cook their food um, and wow what's this that's meat oak right in the middle of the staircase this is the room with the most breathtaking view and a special special place for us to have our morning tea. Can you hear that is the sound of the stream? This Zuleki guys, it's a very very small town in the district of Kohima and it has a population of only 156. What? So guys, this is Aunt Aso. 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 And this is Aunt Tuse. So the homestay is named after her and they just made us some amazing tea. I am right outside my homestay and I'm heading out alone because I wanted to walk around this little beautiful village and see what's in store. Walking around a village is always special. It's my most favorite thing to do while I'm traveling. Even maybe interact with the locals around. Also, when you come to Zuleki, you cannot come here on your own. You need a guide because that's how the town runs. It runs on the income that the guides generate, that the home stays generate. When it comes to their food and other living necessities, they're growing their own food, they're growing their own vegetables, they're gardening and they have their livestock as well. So there's this river called Zuleki. On its course, it reaches the village underground. So that is why this village gets its name from that river. So guys, I met some really interesting people here and we are going to see some fish. What fish are they? I think you were brought from the Kashmir. Kashmir? Yeah. Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout? They're there? Yeah. Oh wow, we're very lucky to see them. Right? Too small. Too small, okay. I think they're breeding them now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Say hi. Sunil just told me that there's a very scary bridge to cross. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I hate things that dangle too much. And this bridge is dangling so much. Okay, now I'm safe. Oh, there's some breeding happening here, right? Oh. Oh, wow, so tiny. So what's the best part about homestays is that you get to interact with the host and this is the perfect example of a homestay you see Tuso is gardening picking some vegetables where she that's her there's some squash leaves that we're gonna have tonight for dinner correct Tuso is getting some water for kitchen uh, kitchen. kitchen kitchen and at the moment Aso is making some tea for me That's some dry fish on the log. That's some um, chilies, dry fish and tomatoes. So this is the process of making a chutney. The bathroom is outside the house. So it's pretty dark and I think this is the only way. Oh man, this is really dark. Can you even see anything? This reminds me of the times uh, I went to my dad's native. That's in Mangalore and it's 
right in the interiors oh this is the toilet and the bathroom so if you want to have a bath you want to have a bath here these guys are back and uh, tanya is back with some rice beer woohoo we're going to give larissa some of this rice beer because she needs to be at the same level as us right now so here you go okay. look at their phone chore this is the first time we're having rice beer cheers and i need to get cheers man cheers 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 you like this rice one cheers Mm, it's like toddy. So we had a crazy night with some rice beers, and woke up with funny memories. Wished the beautiful host goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> and drove to our next stop. I also magically found my lost shrug on the way back on the road. <laughs> I is taking you to my room in Dovi Pai Inn. This is the view from my room. How beautiful is this? What's up guys? So we are in Konoma. Konoma is a village in uh, the Western Angami region. Western Angami region. Good with geography. And, and it's also It's also the first green village of Asia. Green village of Asia and this place is supremely clean and there are dust bins at every corner and they make it a point that they don't really use plastic as much. So guys, I'm right now at the Konoma fort. It's a very tiny fort and the tiniest I've seen so far. Is uh, we've been seeing a lot of these kind of houses. They're called murungs. So murungs are basically gurukuls where the young boys learn basic etiquettes, ways of life and physical training. So right now we're going to try a few things that the guys did out at the murungs. What are we going to try? We're going to try short put. I did it in school once and never after that. <laughs> Pretty much the same, okay? But you took light, jada heavier, liya. These are the different weights that they do short put with, and ye dekho, ye zada hi bada hai. Now we are inside a murong, and these are the huge guns. So what's very interesting about this village is that uh, the government does not get involved in the infrastructure at all. So the roads are built. by the villages themselves north east states they don't pay road tax and all oh one more interesting thing about this place is that you'll find a lot of tombstones almost all houses have tombstones so this thing is practiced by the angamis they believe in keeping their close ones close to them like literally and that's why they bury them right there right in their garden they bury them right outside their house i think it's a pretty cool thing to do i mean i would prefer doing that yes Me too. So guys, this is the only cafe, cafe मतलब store that I've seen here in this village. And when I say कि this is Asia's, India's first green village, it also means it's tobacco free. So you don't get cigarettes here. You can't even smoke cigarettes in public. Chewing tobacco. No chewing tobacco. So no gutka, pan, वो सब भी नहीं. Guys, so we are back. to our hotel and right now we're going to learn some cooking from a very famous angami chef yes her name is rovi and what's the best part is that we're going to learn all these dishes and tomorrow me and tanya are going to compete with each other and cook food i'm laughing on angami this. style because i don't know how to cook and uh, You guys, if you follow me, you know I can cook. <laughs> so dekhte hain. Are you? I'm is already done. Like, please stop. <laughs> Tanya is learning very well from Chef Rui. So guys, right now we're making the dry fish chutney. This is my favorite. That's some chilies. Just roasted it on the gas and uh, added some salt to it. Mm -hmm. One more thing that's very interesting in the Naga kitchen is that they hardly use any oil while cooking. Yeah. So the two dishes that she's preparing right now 
she did not use oil at all she is only added water in fact there is no oil on the counter on the counter like i don't see any oil here in the counter so we are all set for the day today in yes. khanoma and where are we going we are going to the yes. rice fields and we're going to be picking some veggies yeah and uh, cooking locally in the fields itself in the field itself so how exciting is that yeah. never done this before i have picked veggies like back in my uh, ancestral home in mangalore yeah. but cooking it right there you know this is like some actual local stuff you know so the chef we met yesterday she's with us so we are going to her garden and we will be picking vegetables from there she has all the equipment in that basket and uh, that basket right there is supremely heavy and uh, let's see how heavy that is so we've dressed up rovina now <laughs> so now rovina is a tourist <laughs> and how are you weight kitna hai dekh dekh ha दिमाग निकल जाएगा ऐसे फीलिंग आ रही है। ओके, चल लेगी तू इसमें? हाँ, बस निकल ना जाए। ओके, हाँ। पेपर करने की जरूरत नहीं है तेरे को। स्कूल ना? प्री स्कूल। And here you see some maize, beans, and there's some yam right here. Some water yams. And there's a lot, so we're gonna have a lot of it. Guys, this is all the harvested uh, crop. They put it after it's harvested as manure for the soil. It started to rain, and we had to take shelter. And we're gonna be cooking our vegetables right there. What gets better than this? Nothing at all in this world. We have some tea on the kettle, some black tea. The weather is so pleasant here. It's been pleasant throughout, yeah. and I've been loving it. Just a little cardigan on top, and you're good. I'm not even wearing like a jacket right yeah, now. Yeah, it's very yeah, pleasant. I'm from Delhi, so I'm from Mumbai, so you can understand me. So we've expressed our love for the really spicy Naga food, but it can also get to you. So be careful because last night, Tanya, we ate like a lot of uh, spicy, spicy stuff. Food, yeah. Like every dish in our plate was spicy, and she had to throw up, and I had a bad stomach today in the morning. Yeah. So please be careful about that. Don't go overboard like us. Yeah, because I think moderation is required at the end of the day. If yeah. you are accustomed to that kind of uh, spicy food on an everyday basis, you uh, will tend, you will fall sick. Yeah, and we don't know about the M of moderation. We start doing extra things. 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 What? Second cup of chai. Lalsa. No idea. This is called lalsa. Oh, how many is that? Which means red tea. So guys, lunch is ready. This is some smoked pork. This is uh, the chutney, the very famous chutney without the fish though. Some carrots, just two carrots actually. And this is the rice. Looks delicious. Smells amazing. Now let's see how it tastes. Then we found a little stream at the base of the rice terrace so we decided to take a quick stop at the base. Kya tumne pani mein kabhi dance kiya hai? Nahi kiya hoga. Humne to kiya hai. So guys this is the end to our rice terrace trip. So if you see rice terraces are very uniquely built and they're obviously not natural they are man made and they're built specially especially this one in Khonoma is built with these rocks to keep the mud intact. The other ones you see I've seen one in Bali and we're going to see another one in Zakama when we go there. So guys we're back from the rice terrace and it was a pretty long way i'm sweating but we took a small break here we are at abhishek's homestay this is a very cute homestay it's blue in color it's very much different than the doi by in we're staying in that's a hotel this is a homestay hello hi hi hi
guys we are back in the kitchen and today we are not going to learn cooking we are going to cook yes. and uh, tanya is super excited as you can see and these are our vessels the ingredients are right here let's go dik awaaz kuch alag nahi aa rahi done cheers to our first ever naga cooking so we are making the dry fish chutney which is like my absolute favorite and i'm so excited that we get to do this <laughs> okay so here's presenting the dinner ooh ooh looks delicious So we loved Zuleki and Khanoma so much that we wondered if our next two stops would be good enough to give us better experiences. Turned out it was worth every minute. Coming up next is my final video of the Nagaland series which will not only take your breath away but also make you pack your bags and book your next trip to Nagaland instantly. Are we all ready? Yeah.